Dan, this is it. The glittering golden envelope. You will drive your cars to Namibia through the Okavango Delta. That's, that's the really big wildlife place. Yes. In the Okavango, you will encounter many deadly animals, including lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas, wild dogs, hippos, black rhino and crocodile. Bird snakes, shield-nosed snakes, puff adders, boom slang, cape cobras, banded cobras, black mambas, black widows and thick-tailed scorpions. What about the honey badger? The what? That's honey the badger. least scary sounding animal in the world. A honey badger does not kill you to eat you. It tears off your testicles. It does not! It, why is it called a honey badger? Exactly. Why because so that's why it's made it angry. Why isn't it called the badger of death? In order to protect ourselves from the lions and the honey badgers, Jeremy and I would have to rebuild our cars. But because we'd left all the bits on the other side of the salt pans, we had to use whatever we could find. Could a lion eat this? Who do I see about the um, corrugated metal? I suppose I've had a practice at least, my lion drill. Oh no, there's a lion coming. Ah, what shall I do? That. Oliver will protect me. Because I had nothing to do, I decided to irritate Jeremy. I want to go to that tarpaulin, man. Tarpaulin? Tarpaulin will defeat a honey Oh, no, it's well known, tarpaulin, for its, its, its almost military protective capabilities. That's why you often see people going into war zones draped in tarpaulin. Could you put a new door on a car? Come and have a look. I'll show you what I mean. It's not sophisticated metalwork, this, but... <laughs> I would like a tarpaulin roof for a Lancia Beta Coupe, 1981. Right. We can, we can, make... we can make anything here. Do you have any lion-proof tarpaulin? So it's got to be like this thick. Yeah. One and a half metres by, say, one and a half metres. If you think of a lion door, it would be about that big. Could you ignore him and make me that? Because Mercedes were very popular in Africa, James soon found a spare door and boot lid for his car. And while he was looking for more bits, I hatched a plan. <laughs> Look what I've got. That is, that's a cow's head. Yeah. Now, this will attract flies, yes. which will make his life unpleasant. Yes. It will also attract lions. Tigers. He effectively becomes a burger van <laughs> driving. <laughs> and to make sure the lions didn't miss. Oh yeah, that's a whopper. That's, that's, a, that's a whole lion piece. there. Oh yeah, under the seat. Oh, the, oh, smell. the smell will really. That will be beautiful. We also attached a cowbell to the underside of his car. But while we were doing this, he was making merry with the paint. That afternoon, we left Man and headed north to the Okavango Delta. Right, my car now has been uh, readied. As you can see, I have a wooden door here. It's a gull wing, um, so I can get in and out, obviously. God, this is like being in an allotment shed on a very windy day. On the left, I have all the cans that were in the car for the last few days have been arranged and fiesta resistance. Badgers go away. I am the road warrior. Mad Jeremy. Police car. Can anybody else smell burning, or is it my car? Is it like a barbecue smell? <laughs> As we neared the Okavango, the roads became rougher and rougher. This is where the Big Bend comes into its own, really, because it's got good ground clearance, nothing to do. Yeah. This is enough to shake the skulls from your bonnet, and nobody in the whole of human history has ever said that before. <laughs> So just to summarise, viewers. As we went through the gates and into the game reserve, the road changed again for the worse. This is new, very soft sand. 
To stop our cars bogging down, we had to drive as fast as possible. We had ourselves another rally stage. Amazingly, even Jeremy had his work cut out keeping up with the Opal. Hammond's car just looks so composed. I'm developing this irrational hatred of him and it. Oh, this is such a good game. Eventually, he was slowed down by a bridge over the river Kwai. The rally stage had taken its toll on one of the cars. Take a guess which one. I'm in a car, which, as you can probably hear, has got a throttle that's jammed wide open and I can't hold it on the brakes. Hammond, move! You're going to have to go faster and I hit you. What? Oh, God! Thanks! Well, help yourself to my brakes. Why not? I've lost a skull. Monkeys. I'm sorry, I can't... Whoa! Just hear the throttle. That's tick over. Look, my leg's not on it. Having bodged my throttle, we headed deeper into the Okavango. In front, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. 1. This is where wildlife cameramen come to make a name for themselves with David Attenborough. But unfortunately, our film crew are best really with cars. The giraffe on the right. There, the big thing. We ever do a programme called The Back End of an Animal? These are the boys to hire. This week on Too Late to Look. Right, Boone on the left with animals with a baby on its back. To give our crew a chance, we stopped and discovered that we weren't much good at animals either. Oh, yes. Wow, look, look. A hippo's head. Oh, it is. Well, it's probably a whole hippo. It's just the rest of them is under the water. What does a hippo do just before it's about to attack? Opens its mouth. Opens its mouth. It can open its jaw. There's a thing it can do. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. They stop for a drink, using their noses to shovel water into their mouths. Jeremy, that's a rubbish commentary. James took over. That one's lifting its sort of paw up a bit like a dog does. Paw. Hoof, foot, whatever you call it. Hoof. <laughs> Why is it on an elephant? It's amazing. There's a man over there with the best comb-over I have ever seen in my life. That is... <laughs> He's got four partings as a result of that. Let me <laughs> see. Why don't you... You're bald. Live with it. Oops, he called me back. <laughs> I was looking through the <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the elephants, really. I was... Look at that sun now, boys. Elephants, rally special stage, best comb over I've ever seen. Everything's here. We camped by the river, and while James serviced his car, I hatched a plan. Jeremy. 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 It wasn't working in the boot. Well, I've had a better idea. What? Ten. He's ten. Yeah. Love your thinking. That's the second one from the right, wasn't it? You'll find it. That's it. In, 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 in. Oh. It's under his bed. What? was a hippo. What? Plugs. That sounded very thick. Oh, oh my God, look at that. Hippos spend all day in water. Yes. And then they come out at night, because I can't remember why. Well, thank you. That's useful. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. Look, do you want to go out there with a hippopotamus? Or do you want to stay in here with a horse set? That's not a question that's ever been It's asked. not a horse, either, is it? <laughs> um, hang on. That's what? my bag in James's tent. This is my tent! <laughs> oh, man, get it out! 